One of the things God wanted me to say, which I didn't want to say, God said, this area David affected him. I read so many books. My relationship with God was, you can see me now. And God said, you sum up men, you know what they will do. Especially Mr. Waluk, he was always offending me when I was with him. When I was to leave him, I knew I didn't know. And God, I was coming out of the church yesterday and God said, take talk it to them. He said, the day you were to leave Bishop Waleok was the day you were to be saved from the error you will have entered into. I mean, you entered into. But you know that you were going to stay for hours, he was not going to see you. So you just asked one of his uh, whatever to pray for you and you left. He now took me many years before he now came back to pray for me and began to counsel me. My life now began to change. Since 2000, since 1999, he only met me back. I've met him back going to some of his programs. But to, to physically meet me back was 2015. Everything began to change from that point in 2015. Because he laid his hand, he prayed. He and his wife, he prayed. He talked to us. He told us what to do. But I've run ahead since 1999 with so much of revelation. I'm an orator of God's word. Orator. So much of revelation of the word, so much of revelation from heaven. But, so that's the reason why right now I don't get it. I don't get it twisted. I keep talking to him. I've told him I'm coming to meet him in Nigeria this year. Even with the what he's doing to I don't care. He has always been like this. He has 10 programs in a day. He will do program and faint. They will take him to the hospital and say, I've not finished my message. <laughs> He has always, he's, he's evangelistic in nature. So he accommodates so many people. He has a large art. He can tell 10 people he will be there. And most of the time he will be there. But by the time he gets home, he's, a, he's wrecked. He called, he texts me the following morning. We'll fix another time. I slept over. He was with Pastor Jerry Ese. He was with Pastor Jerry Ese. He's from there. He wanted to pray for me. But he slept off where he was in his room. He texts me. I just say, thank you, daddy. Thank you, daddy. Thank you for your time. You, you will have said, what is that? <laughs> or you don't reply. That's what all of you do. That's the reason why you will see power of God in Africa. You don't see it here. Because your mouth is too big. Your mouth cannot be big. And the grace of God will be big at the same time. He can't. Ordinary husband, you don't even follow. You don't even follow to be able to get the blessing that is there. Wife, submit to your husband and say, that's another place where I say submit to one another. That is, <laughs> that is a leader in that family. Some of you don't, you want biblical marriage, but you don't want biblical tenet. Some of you women want to rule your husband. You have learned about women emancipation, women empowerment. That's what you are using in your home. I get it. Please, can you cook something for me to eat? There are two jobs that are your jobs from heaven as a woman. <laughs> From, from heaven. To give him children, to give him food. They are your job. From heaven. Heaven sanctioning. You can start arguing. When you rewrite your Bible, come on. You see, I was thinking about all this yesterday, and God said, let them know. And God told me something. He said, you are doing something wrong, David. He told me you are doing something wrong. And when he began to tell me, I said, no, 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 I can't teach this, please, God. I can't teach. He said, so you will ruin people's lives. He said, tell them. You cannot tell, you cannot talk everything you think. There are things that must perish with you. You cannot dishonor a man in the, just in the bead of telling him the truth, a servant of Christ. You can't do that. The one who calls him, stand with him like a mighty, terrible one. To execute judgment over people. And God told me, he said, David, it's not about you. Talking to them, it's not about you. That's what you see my wife assessing. And her life is going forward. She has not finished PhD. They have offered her job for PhD. She has not finished. You can see her being quiet. But that's what she assessed. God told Felix, Adejuman's wife, with the way you are, and you know she can talk, you will die. 
and nobody will miss you. Then she submitted. And the husband said, the only prayer I pray for my wife, I don't want to be seen. I want my wife to be seen. I was listening to the husband. He said, the wife has gone to more countries. The wife must have been in about 100 countries. I don't think the husband has been more than 10. He just stays home. He said, that's the prayer I pray for her from my heart. That God will take her everywhere and she will be seen. But not me. But she changed her name. She submitted. And God said, teach these people that are young because they will ruin their families. If they don't know how to talk. If they don't know when to talk, that is how to talk, that is when to talk, that is what to talk. <laughs> that is how, that is when, that is what. Because the art of the wise teaches his mouth. The art of the wise teaches his mouth. Oh, I've seen the nakedness of our father. Everybody come and see. His generation is costly today. He has not been removed. Some went back. Because the father was drunk. Don't you see that he's the one who caused it? Why did he drink? How can you be Noah that saved your whole life and you're not drunk? The man is tired. <laughs> he was building the ark for 40 years. After he finished building the ark, God, God killed all his friends. <laughs> He didn't have friends anymore. He, he walked there, dead body. He walked there, dead body. <laughs> As a matter of fact, he had to do a lot of work, carrying a lot of dead body around. He was tired, just saying, well, what is it, self? Ah, what did I do wrong? <laughs> he, he just wanted to number the pain, so he, he drank. And slept us that maybe one day we'll wake up in heaven and we'll not be here. He was tired. Just like Elijah. That said, I'm not better than my father. Please take me. What is the issue? And he drank, and the one child saw the body. And say, I saw daddy's body. Come and see. And some of you say, that sister, sister Mimi, come and see the way it takes jaggy, 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 jaggy. You play with your destiny. You just play with your destiny. I played with it before, before I quickly recover. I lost wife, I lost children. I lost every, everything that I ever did that people will never even know that I ever did those things before. In Nigeria, you can never knew that I was one of those strong players from Lagos. On television, on radio station. Holding forth in the Keja. Posters everywhere. You cannot, if you go there, you can't find out I ever did anything. Because I was running on knowledge and revelation. No input of the fathers. Now see here where we are right now, with the input of those people God has put me under. It cannot die. It does not have power to die. People can come and go. He cannot die. He cannot. From the moment Bisawaleke blessed us, we began to have money from where we don't know where we have money. How can the church, the way you are now, and Kide, how can we have over 65,000 euro in the account? How? With all the things that we do. Are you, are you listening to what I'm saying? One of them, one of the spiritual father blessed me one day and said, in no time you'll be paying tithes in millions of euro. I said, amen. One of you came to me one day and said, sometimes I don't know why I don't want to submit to whatever. I said, it's the spirit of insanity. I said, it's not you. He said, I really mean it. It's pussy. I said, it's not you. It can't be you. You are too intelligent for to be mad. <laughs> Number one, I'm not even your mate. Can somebody see? Can somebody see? This is the age of my father. Is there not something you cannot talk? No, on a more serious note. That's how you meet your lecturer. Somebody who holds the key, whether you graduate or not. He said, Mr. Kankara, I don't like the way you talk in the class. He said, ah, oh, oh, okay, I see. He's going to tell all his friends to deduct marks. <laughs> to frustrate you. And there is nothing ex external examiner is going to do. Because you are not taught the manner in the house. You can build so many things, they, they come crashing down. 